It's a deja vu moment again because uh, you brought up the sugar and I, you know, we have a lot of discussions amongst ourselves, um, you know, with colleagues, um, people from the business community, uh, the shipping agents, even some of the people from the port, you know, when we go there to release cargo. And I, I'm telling you, there's a genuine concern because people would really want to see this situation resolved because um, if there's no resolution in it and imagine if cargo starts diverting down to the port in Big Creek. Uh, it's not like the um, monies will be lost. Definitely the significant income will be lost from the port. Um, the stevedores definitely will be losing income likewise, because now you will see a shift in where the operations will occur. What this does, it actually gives the salt more business because then you're looking now at uh, either persons from Belize trying to maybe set up shop, for lack of a better word, in, in the south. You have the already uh, the transporters who are down south. Um, this is a, a, a income flow for them. I was telling Nikita earlier, likewise, that uh, for them at CPBL, it would basically be a blessings in disguise, but he rightly corrected me and said, you know what? Yes, we, we're not just thinking about just ourselves here. We're thinking about everyone in the country.